Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to Salt 2 Shores of Gold. Mm. Now, I need a piratey name. Sausage Fingers. Ugh. Right, begin game. What the? Get off. Right, I have actually played this before, only for a couple of hours. I recorded a whole episode without the sound on, so too long didn't read. This game's good. Get it. It's like Sea of Thieves, but without the griefing. Yeah. It's crafty, explorey, it seems healthy, God it's good. It seems the gods have smiled upon a you today. A stranger, a stranger in a strange land. Adrift. Alone. Nevertheless, I'm afraid I must leave now. Good luck. See, I don't know who that man is. This is still in early access, so there are going to be bugs and glitches and things. Although I haven't experienced any at all yet, uh, there are things I'd like to see added. Right, it starts off, you hear, right? You've got no boat. Oh, I'm going to loop that. Look, no boat. I am in between boats currently. Now, you get a little mission chain, which is great. Also acts as a rather grand tutorial. Let's read this. Hmm. If you're reading this, you didn't die. I found you shipwrecked and barely clinging to life. Right. If you want to read that, you can pause it and read it. But basically, over on the right there, you'll see I've got to find and enter the cave. Before I do this, I'm going to do this, right? Pick up all this stuff. It gives you instructions when you pick things up, right? Yeah. Um, fires. You can rest. If it's getting dark, you can rest till the morning. You wake up a little bit hungry, you know. That's about it, though. I'm going to add that to my little hot bar thing. Uh, and that for now. If I had any faults, it would be this. Your map. Update last known position. So use your sextant. But I can't... I can say there's an island here, because I'm stood on it. But I can't put a waypoint. I can't write on that. So you have to kind of write down what island it is if you want to come back. So anyway, uh, the cave is over here somewhere, I'm sure it is. Look, I've got... Basically, when you start off, loot as much as you can. Find everything, pick everything up, flog it. Yeah, you know, you can build things, you can build armour, put your stats up. Build health potions, all that, little bit of crafting goodness. But I'm going to kind of hammer through this. This is how we make our potions and stuff. Cooking. Um, that's what you can cook. That's the recipes you've got. I'm going to go on my map. I'm going to go inventory. Over here. Shows an island. That's a map to a seaport. Right. So I can hold that and waypoint it on my map. And that's where I've got to go. Right. So, But first of all, we're going to go in here and kill Yogi. Loot the supply chest. But, before I loot said supply chest, I know there's a little monkey around here. Look at him being all berry. Come here, hippie! I forgot how to jump. Oh, he got me again. Oh, I thought I had him trapped then. You can block and parry and things like that, but I can't because I'm a Muppet. I'm going to loot all the things. I've peeled the bear. I can eat him. Yes. Now, I also know in here that there is a... a there, there's like secret caves and it's really, really adventure -y, this game. So I'm going to show you in a minute. And it's limitless as well, so the, the game is procedurally generated, so it's massive. I've got one of them now, so I can go like, I'll show you. Uh, inventory, armory tools, I'm going to put him in four. And now we can get copper. Same sketch as a usual crafting game, you start off with copper, get a forge, make ingots, which helps you make stuff. You level up, then you can make like iron stuff, silver stuff, all that kind of stuff. Stuff. Let's say stuff. Look, things. Obviously, I'm hammering through this. Like, yeah, this is a game you can really take your time with and enjoy the adventure. I'm having that and all. Look, jewels in here. 
Throughout your adventure, you'll discover crafting recipes. Interact with them. So now I can make. Oh, I can. I've got blueprints to make things. You, you landlubbers. Right now, I know there's a deaded bloke in here somewhere. I've seen him, and I know his hand is pointing at a thing. Where is he, little whippy? There's a skeleton in here. I'm sure he's over here. Here he is, look. See that epi there? I'm going to loot him. Human bones and copper. You can flog anything as well. See, look. Now I'm in another place with things. New equipment boiler. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, rings, arrows, elf potions, things, stuff. I'm putting all of that on. Uh, let's go. We did I get any... Right, if we go across here, that shows us everything that's new with a little star. So, um, that's all palaver. That's all palaver and malarkey. I'm gonna equip that. And I'm gonna learn that. Now, if I go clobber or armor, I'll click on that and you get stats. Increases damage with pickaxes or agility. I'm gonna go for agility because I'm gonna mainly. You can change them skills as well. Did I do the right thing there? That's it, yeah. But you can actually reset these as well, your stats. Now, return to camp. Let's do that. I mean, you could... This, this is like the tutorial island, pretty much. You could spend an hour here just looting stuff and making stuff. Health points are crucial. Health potions are crucial. Oh, stuff. I am going to make a couple, actually, because they're always handy, ain't they? Right, uh... I'll make some cooked bear. Everybody likes a bit of cooked bear, don't they? Have I got any health potions? Yeah, so now I'm going to put that into. When you first start, you're going to hammer the health potions. So, yeah, get lots. Yellow flowers, they are your friend. Right, I have returned to camp. Now I must craft the raft. And you do that here at the Cartographer Station. They craft. Craft the raft. And what I like in this as well is if you crash your boat and stuff, you don't lose it, you can beach it and everything as much as you want. It's in your inventory. Hold F, you place it. Uh, place your raft in your inventory and find the Cartographer at the coordinates using the map that you found. When you're off your boat as well, you can shunt it. So if it's a little bit stuck, you can push it or redeploy it like so. Scrand is R. Right, where are we going? I'm there. Update last known position. Center. Yeah. Right, so I'm going a little bit southeast. That's a trot actually. Who uh, lives in a pineapple under the sea? Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. If not, it's nonsense. It's something you wish. See, I know pirate songs. Or is it that one? No, that's east. That way. That there be, that be their island. Arg. Arg. Don't even care if I beach it. Don't even care. It's the way I roll. I'm sausage to pirate man. Come on, tide. Uh, Alright, we'll park here. Put my sails up on my boat and do one. Alrighty then, let's go. When you're first starting as well, have a right old rummage. You can find these. You get pearls in them. Pearls. Arg. And they're worth the monies. The big monies. Yes. Find the jewels. Sell the jewels. Buy the things. Mm, empty. Arg. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Let me look. Tells you how much they're worth as well, I think. 50 of the silver. Right. Once you've got 100 copper, it turns into a silver. Once you've got 100 silver, it turns into a gold. And then I think it turns into platinum after 100. So the platinum is the only one you can have more than 100 of. Arg. 
There's another one. Hmm. So you can make money very quickly by just rummaging. And when you start playing the game, money becomes not a thing very, very quickly. You can get jobs from the job board in town, and you get a mailbox. If you've got a mailbox in your ship, you can turn in your quests. If you haven't got a mailbox, you have to come back here, which is a complete pain in the bum, because if you've got 100 islands on there, you can't remember which one it is, unless you write down the coordinates on a bit of paper, old schooly like You can hunt the things. I'm going to hunt the things. Snicky, snicky, like. I missed the thing. I think, I'm not sure if this is dynamic. See the way the white stuff's blowing i think that's the wind and i think the animals can smell you uh I, I i don't know if i'm making that up but it seems to be a thing right this is the cartographer's house where he lives look at him cartographing mm. let's hear it i found you I've got to go and get a compass from a place. Right. Received a map to the pirate island. So now he's going to give me a boat, basically. But I've got to do him a little favour first. So let's have a little look where it is. Go here. Uh, map to pirate island. We'll put a little waypoint on. It's southeast. See, I thought I was on that island, but I'm not. So I'm going to add a little island here. So I haven't got to go southeast. I've got to go northeast. Yeah. Uh, northeast is that away. Right, let's go there. Charge. Let's sneak up on him. All sneaky like. Down to four of the foods. Oh, he's well odd. Come here. Come here. You will not defy me, piggy. All right. Thrashed me. I would like a bow and an arrow. All right, where are these pirates? They're generally on the high spots in the centre of the island, the bad dudes. I've noticed. Pray tell. There's a thing over there. Look. That that piglet again. Come here! You run out of stamina as well. I leveled up. I'm level one in the picking up of things. Usually I would pillage everything I see, but for the purpose of this experiment, I will not. Look, there's dudes. Not everybody's bad, so before you shoot them in the face with bow and arrow, I... Ah, oh, poo. On that very first island, there's a little up with a bow and arrow in it. Now I haven't got a bow, so I've got to fight everyone hand to hand, because I was rushing like an idiot. So yeah, if you're going to start this and you want a bow, and you like shooting people in the face... Go there first. It's going to get dark soon. I'm going to need the crickets. I'm going to have a little save. Yeah. Come here, Rippy. I'm going to try and kite him if he can see me. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, it's two. Oh, I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Come on, son. They're pretty stupid. Right, the further away you go, the higher level everything comes. From the, I presume from the coordinate zero zero, and they do actually get quite hard after a while. There's his compass. Got that. Where's the other dude? And there's that. So basically, initially when you're fighting, you just hammer away at the left mouse. 
but once you get a bit more into it, you have to start being good. Come here, pirate fighter. Oi. Oh, you stupid. Come on, son. When you parry, you do lose a little bit of health, but hey, it ain't a lot. Should we go and see if there's a bow in here? Oh, lockpick required. I already rummaged him. Nick all that. Got me an hat. I'm putting that on. I'll fight better if I've got an hat. Inventory. Uh, clobber. I'm looting it and wearing it. And I'm going to go... Armour. Yeah. There. Look at me. All armoured and stuff. What's my health like? My health's all right. There's a cave here. I could go and have a little rummage in it. See if there's a bow in here and I could shoot the rest in the head. Oh, adventure -y. Oh, there's loads of them. I really do have a bow in here. Let's go and have a little rummage up here. Mushrooms are good and all. If you find little mushrooms, take them home with you. Cook them up. Little bit of grubs. Where's he gone, Hippie? Oh, that dude might have a bow. He's empty. Hippies. A lot of storiness involved in this, but I'm not acquiescing in the storiness currently. That looks like a secret place. Yeah, see the little things in the rock? Well, secrety. Mm. Chef's thing. One silver. Oh, that's a lot of monies. So what have I used? I'm using a cutlass. That's one to four. That's two to five. I am so using that. And I'll put that in one as well. That changes it on your toolbar. You just hover over it and then press the up key one. There. What else did I get? I got paperwork of some description, didn't I? What's this? Brown book recipe. I'll learn it. Hang on. Look. Thanks. Oh, Lu Lucius Maximus. Got all of that. That is going, uh, we'll go in free. Also, if you hold down here, you get a lot of hot wheel things. So you don't really need your quick things, but I like them nonetheless. I've got 20 of the arrows. I'm going to eat me a little um, first aid medicine thing, potion, stuff. That's the way anything. Empty, empty, stone. Sell everything, loot it all. Cheese, things. So loot, everyone loves a good loot, don't they? All of the things, more things. How do you turn a pirate furious? take away the P because then he becomes irate, 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 you see, get it, get it, I got it, I'm well clever, 
duck down and do the sneak and shoot the pirate in a, in a boat. Oh, he's nearly dead. He's already low. Oh, he's still hit, man. Oh, the village. Where the dude is. Where are his little cartographer's house? Here he is. Hello, my old China. I've got your stuff. The bigger the ship. Yeah. The Hold a minute. Hold a minute. Hold a minute. Hold a minute. Right. So now I've got to craft a wave skipper. I'm gonna do it. So I go here. Little tick is what you can build. Wave skipper. Crafted it. Bosh. Now he's gonna make me buy other things. Speak to this hippie here. All right, let me see your things. Now, look, I've got to get a forge. Bosh. I've got to get a weaving station. Bosh. A cooking station. That's like a fiery thing. Yeah. Woodworking station. And a cartographer's station. Where is this cartographer's station? There. Now, if I had 10 silver, that is one of the most essential buys in the game, I think. That thing there. Yeah, it's good. You can turn in all your quests and all that malarkey. I mean, don't let Alrighty, I am a new craftsman. Now, this is where you become a free man in this game and you can do the things and stuff as you want to do the things and stuff. You can smash through that in about 10 minutes. But I'm a plum and I have to go looking for things. You cannot park your boat there. I've tried it. It's too shallow. Let's go to grown-up water. Over here. See, my sausage genius wants to shoot that with an arrow, but I'm... Look at him! Standing there, being all deary. Did it. Peely. I've got a ship. That means I am pirate, dude. Yeah. He is... Ready? Bosh, son. Let's put that over there. Don't look that impressive for me, does it? No. But I tell you, it is. Look. And there's bigger boats as well. So this isn't the end. There's much bigger ships too. Now, what I will do, I am going to kind of leave you here. Uh, I'm going to put... Is it that? Yeah. I'll put one item down and then I will let you choose your missions. Live your best life as a pirate there you can see what i mean now you can forge away put your little crafting tables down and live your life on the seas of piratey goodness yes look you've even got a little compass there as well you can put a lantern on your boat and you could decorate it and put old ropes on the decks it's a magnificent game i highly recommend this already Mm. And it's cheap as chips as well. I think I got this for about 12 quid. Which at the current exchange rate is about $1. No, it's not really. But you know what I mean. Anyway, yeah. Play the Raft 2. It's good. I hope to see you soon. Out on the seven seas, you scurvy land lovers. Mm. Laters.